Look at all this beautiful food. Do you have a food that you can't stand eating? What do you hate? Oh, yeah. What do you hate, Padma? Stop being so nice. What do you hate? I fucking hate tripe and offal. Really? Um, yes. Oh, I don't Padma. like any organ meat. I don't like any organ meat. I don't want to eat tongue. I don't want to eat stomach. I don't oh, want to eat Oh, no. Meat. I Padma. love pate, but I don't like foie gras. Really? It's usually the other way around. No, it's really funny because somebody gave me a whole lobe of foie gras from D'Artagnan. D'Artagnan, I don't know how to say that. D'Artagnan. Yeah, D'Artagnan. And um, it's still sitting in my freezer. <laughs> I think it's illegal now. You can sell it in the black market. That's right. Uh, there we go. <laughs> Pat was breaking the law, guys. We got her. This has all been a sting operation to get your foie gras. Mm -hmm. That is so crazy, Padma. Oh man, I feel like you've broken my my beautiful veneer of you. That there's nothing wrong with you. Uh, well, you know, the thing is, I grew up a vegetarian because yeah. I'm Hindu, and so we always ate dairy, right? I'm a lacto vegetarian, so like you couldn't even bring any meat. Like you couldn't even bring a chicken sandwich into my grandmother's house. That is still right. the case. Today. So no eggs, nothing, just milk and cheese. So I didn't start eating meat until I was a teenager, really. So I'm still very squeamish about, you know, that kind of stuff. Like, I, yeah. I'm not a good eater. I don't know how to break down a side of beef. You know, I don't. Like, when would I have had the occasion to anyway? But, um, you know, I think those are skills that, that everybody should know how to do if you're going to eat meat. Um, so I'm working on it. <laughs> Look, I'm with, I, I do think also there's this problem of, like, I think people don't cook those ingredients with enough love and those need a lot of love to come out good. Like, I feel like most tripe, like the tripe that I've had, like Vietnamese tripe or Chinese tripe is just too funky for me. But like Italian tripe, they like cook it for like five hours and like, you like, know, tr you know it, 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 it's, it's a little more palatable. I don't know. I, I, I'm going to try to turn you around on this. <laughs> Um, do you have a, this is, this is my favorite question. Uh, what is your restaurant pet peeve? Oh, uh, my restaurant pet peeve. This is something that happens because it's me. I either like, I either get serviced to death yeah. where, you know, all of a sudden, like every, they have to come to the table and ask me how things are before I've even had a chance to blow on my spoon to taste the first bite. Um, you know, like there's a pretentiousness in some restaurants that I think is now really falling, you know, out of fashion. But, you know, in the, in the late 80s and, and, well, I wasn't going to fancy restaurants until the 90s. But, um, but, you know, it came up with the Nouvelle Cuisine and it was sort of this like punctilious, you know, pepper grinders that were like two feet long. And it's like, are you trying to compensate for something, you know? <laughs> But um, that or the opposite, where you're like, hello. hello. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So I just think those two um, extremes are, are annoying. Neither is good. And I think that's why we go out. I mean, we go out to have beautiful service and be waited on. Um, and so having the emotional intelligence to know um, how to temper what that person needs in your service mm. is really important. That's why, like, I love when I go to Europe and waiters are actually waiters. Like, that's their profession, you know? Yeah. And they're paid well. They don't have to, like, you know, rely on tips or whatever. So they're just, like, cool and they know their shit. They know their food. They know everything. And if you go there a lot, they know what customers, you know, um, need to sit by the air conditioning and what customers don't. They're no customers who drink a lot of water, stuff like that. They're not working on their lines in the bathroom in between service. Right, exactly. It's their career. Talking about chicken a la king, mango and garbanzo, tabbouleh, real potatoes and vegetables with roasted garlic and basil, zucchini, ziti, granola, fruit bar. Yeah. Look at all this beautiful food. Mm.